Creators have two great forms of feedback. We have the like and dislike ratio, and we have the comment section. Um, as a creator, I kind of depend on the dislike and the comments so that I know where to steer my channel. And while as a creator, I can still see the dislike count, despite YouTube removing it publicly, um, precisely that. You can't see the dislike button. And I feel like if people can't see the number of dislikes on a video, they will be less likely to use the dislike button at all. Um, so someone has been working on a project which returns the dislike count. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can do that. Now, I want to say that this video will probably not age so gracefully because Google will probably stop on this project in the future, as they've already said that they will take down any projects that are abusing their API. This probably counts as an abuse of their API. But with that being said, there is this extension called um, Return YouTube Dislike. And there are two ways of installing this. You can install this by sideloading the CRX file. You can uh, uh, install this off of Firefox, or you can install it with a Tamper Monkey user script. Now, I would actually recommend the Tamper Monkey user script because it's just one click and there you go, but um, you can sideload the extension too, and that is precisely what I did. Um, go ahead, I will leave this in the description, but after we install it, let us refresh this page, you will see that we should have had our dislike count. There we go, our dislike count is back. Um, now, if you were worried about what this does, we can go ahead and go to the GitHub page and it's completely open source and you will be able to look through all of that. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, again, if it doesn't work, <laughs> it, it probably is just Google. Um, suspending the usage of their API on this particular project.